Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hi, everybody. How are you all doing? Good? That's great. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Yes? Okay. So, today we are going to do the second class of Tanadi Raman series. Are you excited for it? Yes? Oh, that's great. So today we are going to do a story in which uh, Tenali Raman is going to narrate a story to uh, Krishna Dev, King Krishna Devaraya. Okay, it is about a man who loves a lot of sweets. Do you all like sweets? It can be chocolate. It can be it can be any any delicacy like Indian. Um, American, anything, even French, like Crozon, Crozon or something, anything. It can even be a laddu or, you know, a barfi or pastries, cakes, normal chocolates, anything of that type. Um, okay, so do you all like it? Yeah? Okay, so similarly, in the story, there's this man called Shubha Sastri. Okay, and Shubha Sastri loves, loves sweets. Okay, anything that is sweet, he is going to be the first one to pounce on it. Okay, so this guy, Shubha Sastri, uh, had a neighbor who knew about his weakness, that is sweets. And he wanted to protect his sweets. So we are going to do a story on him and let's see if you all really like it. It's an amazing story. Before that, let's let's do one little thing, okay? So in the chat section, I want to know which sweet is your favorite. If it's a chocolate, name the chocolate. If it's dairy milk, Paisa, Kit Kat, Ferrero Rocher anything whichever sweet it is okay you all just need to name it so that i come to know that that's your favorite sweet it can be any indian uh, desert or it can be any foreign desert also okay it's okay if we make a spelling error i just want to know what sweet is your favorite okay for example i love the indian sweet by the name of rasgulla it's my favorite so i want to know which one is your favorite let's go let's do it Okay, I'm just going to open the chat box and I'm going to check which one is your favorite. Okay, over here. We have a variety of answers. Everyone, most of them like chocolates. Yeah, even I like chocolate, but which chocolate? 
Okay, for example, mine is Kit Kat. I love Kit Kat. It has wafer, it has chocolate. It's like the perfect mix. Okay, that is really nice. Okay. Very good, guys. I'm happy none of you give me any chewing gum for your chocolate or your sweet because it isn't a chocolate and y'all should not have chewing gum. Yes? Yeah? Okay, so are you all ready to go ahead and watch the story? Yes? Okay, great. Just give me one second and then we start. Yes, is everyone ready? Can I show it to you all? Great, let's go ahead. Let's start with the sh short story of Tanali Rama. Okay. Tanali Rama, Shastri and Sugar. One afternoon in the court of King Krishna Dev Rai, Tanali Raman was asked to tell an interesting story to the king. Was very restless and bored. So, um, what we'll do is let me narrate the story to y'all, okay? I think that would be better. Shall we do that? Uh, so, I'm going to narrate the story to y'all. Just give me one second. Okay, shall we start? Great. So I'm going to start from the beginning. Okay, so this is the story of Tanali Rama, Shubhasastri and Shugam. So one evening, uh, King Krishnadevara was very bored and he called Tanali Rama and he was like, I'm feeling very exhausted, I'm feeling very nervous. I want you to tell me a story. So Tanali Rama thought for a moment and then he thought, oh yes, I have a story. Recently, I heard that there's something going around in the village. I heard something about a rich man. Let's see about him. So there was a rich man. He used to love his wealth. He used to keep it very safely. And he was not at all a very giving person. He never helped any poor person. One day, he found that the bowl of sugar that he had kept was full of ants. So then obviously he needed to remove the ants, right? So what he thought was, okay, maybe I can keep my sugar in the sun and the ants might go away. So what he did was, he took his sugar, he placed it on the table outside and the sun was direct on it. But he also thought that, okay, the ants might go away. But what if Shubhasastri comes and takes it away? Because he loves sweets and I do not want Shubhasastri to eat my sugar. So then he decided to sit right there in front of it and keep a watch on it. Shubhasastri, on the other hand, was his neighbor. So he went to the terrace. Can you see how much he loves sweets? He has one full plate of sweets. Okay, so Subha Sastri on the other hand went on the terrace and he saw, oh wow, there is sugar in the veranda, in the open background of my neighbor. I want to have this. I definitely need to plan something. Yes, yeah, so we stop over here. So what I'll do is I'll narrate this part again and then we have a quiz, okay? So this story is about Tanali Rama, Shubha Sastri and Shugam. So one evening, King Krishna Devaraya was very bored, nervous and exhausted. He was extremely upset. So he called Tanali Rama and he said, I want you to narrate a nice story to me. Tanali Rama thought for a moment and then he was like, yes. I have a story. I have heard about this rich man from the people in our kingdom. Let me tell you the story. 
there was this king man, a rich man. He had lots of wealth. He always kept his wealth very safely. And he was never a giving person. He never helped anybody. One day when he got back home, he saw that there were ants on his sugar. He got tensed. And then he thought, okay, maybe I can keep it in the sun outside and the ants will go away. So he placed them on the table outside under the sun. But just then he thought, what if Sugar Sastri takes my sugar away? What will I do? As it is, Sugar Sastri loves, loves sweets. I cannot afford him to take my sugar away. So he decided, I am going to keep a watch on my sugar and make sure that he does not eat it. On the other hand, Sugar Sastri, who loved the sweets, we can see that, right? He has a plate full of sweets. He went to his terrace and he saw, okay, so this rich man has sugar in his open backyard. I am going to have that sugar, definitely. So then he thought for a minute and then he made up a plan and he decided to have that sugar. He's like, that is mine and I'm the only one who's going to have it. Yes, so clear to clear everybody. Great, very good. So what we are going to do is now, I'm going to post the link in the chat section. All you need to do is click on the link and get started. Yes, so the link is up guys. I'm giving you two minutes and then we go ahead and solve it together. Okay, let's go. Let's get started. Okay. Did you find the story interesting till here? Yes. Now I want to see how Shubha Sastri is going to get his hands on the sugar. Isn't that going to be like extremely interesting? Because rich man is also very cunning. He made sure that he's going to keep his eyes open and guard his sugar. But I'm pretty sure Shub since Shubha Sastri loves sweets, he's definitely going to find a way out to have that sugar. But I'm just intrigued to know how is that going to be possible. So we need to wait and watch the story ahead, right? So you'll quickly complete this quiz and then we go ahead. I hope it's I hope you're finding this quiz easy. Yes. Great job, guys. Very good. So, uh, you all just have four questions in a quiz. So, I hope you all complete it quickly and then we move ahead. Okay? Yes, let's do that. Okay. All those who are done, since it was a very easy quiz, all those who are done, just give me a thumbs up or raise your hand. Use the raise hand button so that I can have a count. Okay. That's quite a few. Very good, guys. Okay, great, very good. So all those who are left, I'll just give you all a few seconds more and then we discuss it together. Okay, great. Okay, is everybody done? Yes? Okay, very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and solve the quiz with y'all. So can you see the screen? Yes, let's get started. Okay, so your first question is, why did Tanali narrate a story to the king? Tanali wanted to show his intelligence. Tana that's not true, right? Because everyone knew how intelligent Tanali is. Tanali wanted the king to learn a lesson. I don't think that was the case. The king was restless. Yes, the king was restless. He was nervous. He was confused. He was just too irritated. He just wanted someone to narrate the story. And who better than Tanali, right? So the king was restless. Very good. Next. What had entered into the bowl of rich man? Water. I don't think that was water because sugar would dissolve. We would not be able to see the sugar. Ants. 
I think I could say real ants, right? Or cockroaches. I don't think there were any cockroaches. So what were what had entered into the sugar bowl? Ants. Very good. Okay, next question. Where did the rich man place the bowl to drive the ants away? Okay. So in his kitchen, I don't think so because then, you know, more ants could come or the ants could spread all over the kitchen. In the sun, I think that's the idea that he had got to remove the ants from the sugar or in a drum. I don't think because then you would not be able to remove the ants. They would just stay with the sugar. So what was the answer? In the sun. Very good. Good job. Next question. The rich man kept a watch over the sugar because he was scared that the ants would eat the sugar. Yes, of course he was scared. That's why he wanted to ride them, drive them away, right? That's why he kept it in the sun. The sugar would melt in the sun. I don't think that's the reason. I think he wanted to drive the ants away. That's why he kept it in the sun. Or Shubhasastri would come and eat it. Yes, he was guarding the sugar because he was scared that Shubhasastri would come and eat it. Very good. So you've got the answer to here. Very good. Very, very nice. So we are done here. Very good. Now let's come to the second half of the story and see what happens. So what does Shubhasastri do to have his hands over the sugar? Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so what Shubhasastri does is he calls his son. Okay, and he tells him, let's see what he tells him. So he calls his son and he tells him, listen, I am going to my neighbor's house. That's a rich man. You come exactly in five minutes and tell that our cow is dead. Our cow is dead. So the little boy, since he was his son, he agreed. He cannot refuse to his father. So Shubhasastri went to the rich man's house and he was just looking around and he was like, hello, rich man. What happened? Why are you like sitting like this in the backyard? Is there any problem that you're facing? Can I help you? He was like, no, nothing. I was just too bored. That's why there's some water that has come in. There's some mud that fell into my water. And he was like, oh, okay. Uh, what is this? So he was like, I just told you it's mud that fell into the water. So she was like, okay. And that time his son came running and he said father father our cow is dead and Shubhasastri can you look at his expression such a naughty expression what do you think this is the time so he acted really surprised and depressed and sad he's like oh my god my cow is dead he started pulling the leaf and the sorry pulling the grass from the ground and pretended to eat similarly he pretended to eat the flowers and then finally he went to the sugar and started eating sugar and he found it very delicious remember he loves sweets and then he gave one handful of sugar to his son as well the rich man was astonished and he was like sugar sastri what are you doing why are you eating my sugar sugar sastri is like but you just said that uh, that is mud mud fell into your water and this really tastes like mud. And then Shubhasastri kept eating all the sugar till he finished all of it. And the rich man learned a nice lesson. So when Tanali narrated the story to the king, everyone had a good laugh. Did you enjoy it? Yes? Okay, great. So we are going to revise it from where we left. And then another quiz. So what happened was when he saw when Shubhasastri saw that the rich man had kept sweets in his veranda he definitely had to make a plan correct so he called his son and asked him for help he said listen i'm going to our neighbor's house in exactly five minutes you need to come and tell our cow is dead our cow is dead so the son agreed Shubhasastri went to the rich man's house and he said hi neighbor what are you doing here? Why are you sitting alone in the veranda? Can I help you in any way? If there's any problem? He's like, no, nothing. Actually, mud fell into my water. Shubhasastri thought for a second or a minute. And then he's like, oh, that is the case. And then he's like, yes, 
so that's why I'm just sitting here and just waiting for the water to dry up and the mud to separate. And that's when his son came running and he said, Father, father, a cow is dead, a cow is dead. And Shubha Shastri looked at his naughty expression. He thought for a minute and then he said, Oh my God, he felt sad and he started crying, a cow is dead. He pretended to remove all the grass from the ground and pretended to eat. Then he went to the bushes and pretended to eat the flowers. Next, he went to the sugar and started eating sugar. He enjoyed it. Remember, he loved sweets. And then he took a handful and gave it to his son as well. The rich man was shocked. He became extremely angry. And he said, what are you doing, Shubha Sastri? That is sugar. Why are you eating my sugar? Shubha Sastri is like, but you said that was mad. And... You know, this actually tastes like mud. And then he continued eating the sugar till he finished all of it. The rich man could not do anything because he had lied. And this is how Tenali when narrated the story to the king and the courtiers. Everyone had a nice laugh and learned a lesson not to lie. Yes. So that's it for today. I hope you like the story. Did you like the story? Yes, that's great. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to post the link in the chat section. All you need to do is go ahead and click on the link and get started with the quiz. Yes, I'm going to give you two minutes. Yes, and there are only four questions. So two minutes and then we go ahead. Let's go. So did you see how... Martli Shubhasastri played the rich man. Yes, he fooled him because he saw that, okay, the rich man is lying to me. Very good. Since he's lying to me, I'm going to use this lie and I'm going to just eat all the sugar. And I'll make sure he does not stop me. He cannot stop me, in fact. Why? Because he's lying. He's at fault. He's on the wrong side. I am going to have all the sweet, okay? But that does not mean you'll do that with others, okay? You'll need to be good, take permission before having anything from others. Yes? Very good. So, let's quickly complete this. I think we are almost going to get up with one minute. We have another minute left. So, once you're done, just give me a thumbs up or raise, use the raise hand button so that I know. Okay, a few of you are already done. It's easy, right? Very good. Okay, okay. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay, quite a few of you are done. Quite a lot of you are done, in fact. Very good. So all those who are left, I'm just going to give you all um, a couple of seconds more. Yes, and then we go ahead. I hope you like the story. I hope you you learned a nice lesson from the story. The not to lie, otherwise the lie can backfire. And who will be at a loss? You. We don't want that, right? Very good. So make sure you don't lie because lying is not the solution to anything. Trust me. If you just say the truth, you're always going to benefit. And lies will always prove to be, um, you know, something that will go against you. So we don't want to be at the losing end, right? Okay. So I think we are done right now with the time. Is everyone done? Oh, great. Very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and we are going to solve the quiz together. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Great. Let's start. Okay. First one. Whom did Shubha Sastri include in his plan? His wife, his daughter or his son? This is an easy one. His son. Very good. Very good everybody. Next, after how many minutes was the helper to come to Shubhasastri? Two minutes, ten minutes or five minutes? 
this is again an easy one remember so we are going to test your memory power okay so was it two minutes 10 minutes or five minutes it's five minutes very good next upon hearing what did shubhasastri act as if he was shocked our cow is dead ants are there in the sugar mud has fallen into the water so mud has fallen into the water something that the rich man said so that's what shubhasastri used against him ants are there in the sugar he could clearly see that but he still wanted to eat it so why was he shocked when his son said our cow is dead and he wasn't shocked remember he pretended to be shocked very good next do you think shubhasastri was a smart man yes or no this is a clear, clear answer. It is yes. Right? Shubhasasi was a very smart man. And the rich man proved to be at a loss because he lied to Shubhasastri. Right? Okay, now you tell me, since you all said yes, why was Shubhasastri smart? There are two reasons to it. Can you tell me both the reasons? One, he or one is he already made a plan with his son to eat the sweet. Okay. Second is when the rich man lied to him, he immediately picked it up and he made a plan. He merged the two plans so that he can use it against the rich man and to his benefit. Right? So he could eat all the sugar. So smart. He played it so well. Right? Great, everybody. Very good. Okay. So now what we are going to do? There was this one main character in this story. Can you tell me who was he? It's actually very easy. Why don't we do one thing? Why don't you write it down in the chat box for me? So I'm giving you just like a few seconds. Let's see what's the correct answer. Yes, quickly. Okay, so I can see most of you have got the correct answer. It is Shubhasastri. Very good. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make a puppet of Shubhasastri. Yes, are you excited for it? I am super excited. I want to see how Shubh how your Shubhasastri turns out. Yes, excited? Great. So I'm not going to waste any more time and we're going to directly dive into the puppet drawing. Okay, puppet making thing. Let's start. Yes. Okay. So I have taken a small piece of paper, which is big enough, like at least 10 to 15 centimeters long. Okay, you can decide the width. So let's take, or you can take an info size sheet and then cut it. So I've taken a piece of paper and I'm going to sketch Shubhasastri. Let's start. So I'm going to start with the ears. Yes. And then we are going to draw his face. Can you see it? How I'm drawing it? And then we are going to draw his turban. Can you see how I'm drawing it? We're just going to lightly draw the turban. Okay, I'm going to stop over here so that you all can draw till here. And since this is not like the main character in every story, Shubhasastri is just in one of the stories, you're going to make half of Shubhasastri. Not like Tanali Rama, like we made full Tanali Rama, only half of him. Okay, so draw the ears, draw his face neatly. Yes, and then we draw his turban. Done, everybody? Done, clear? Yes? Okay, let's go ahead. Shall I go ahead? Okay, now I'm going to draw, like, give a small little detail in the turban. Did you see that? Okay, now his facial expressions. So I'm going to draw his eyebrows. And then since he was um, a nice man, he, you know, in olden days, in kingdoms, they used to put these, like, three white dashes of of i don't know some 
spiritual um, powder or something. So let's draw them. Now we'll draw the eyes and draw them properly. Yes. And then we are going to draw the nose and then his moustache and his smile. Yes, let's stop over here. Let's let's see if you'll complete it here. So we stopped at the turban. Let's start with the eyebrows. Yes, then his nice big eyes. Yes, those three dashes on his forehead. His nose, moustache, and his smile. Done. Very good. Let's go ahead. We're going to draw his neck so that we can have a nice little kurta because they used to wear kurta in those times. I'm just going to draw his shoulders. And we'll draw one of his hands with a laddu because he had laddu in his hand. So this is my hand and uh, you don't need to draw the fingers perfectly. It's just a normal thing. Okay. And then you're going to draw the other side and that hand need not be visible. So we're just going to leave it that way. And just a little fine defining. Yes, so this is how our, yes, our puppet Shiba Shastri is going to look, okay? So, draw his neck, draw his t-shirt, his arm with one laddu in his hand. Yes, done till here. Okay, so now next what we are going to do is first we are going to do the skin color. Yes, let's start coloring it. Okay, I forgot to draw his hair. Yes, so we are going to draw his hair. Next, let's start coloring his skin. So, I'm just going to color quickly. I've colored the skin and I've started with the turban. So, I'm just going to wait over here for you all. So, quickly color his skin. So, that skin includes his face, his ears and his neck. Oh, I forgot to color the neck. Never mind. And you can color skin color over there. Yes. The next thing we are going to do is color his turban. Only the upper part of turban. So I'm using orange color. You can do the same. You can use orange color. Shall we go ahead? Yes, let's start. So I'm just going to quickly color it orange. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, now I'm going to take yellow color and do the fine border of the turban. Yes, can you see it? Great. Now I'm going to use black for his hair. His brows. And the pupils of his eyes. Moustache, of course, his moustache. Okay, I'm going to stop over here for y'all to be in pace with me. So, the turban's border, I've done yellow. Besides that, I've used black for his hair, his eyebrows, the pupil of the eyes, and moustache. Done, everybody? Shall we go ahead? Great. Let's go ahead. Now, I am going to take orange color again, and I'm going to just do the color of the kurta. So let's quickly do that. Okay. Let's do the kurta yellow in color. But I forgot to draw the sleeves, so the ending. Okay. So quickly, I'm going to just color it yellow. Okay. Yes, completely yellow. Okay, now I'm going to take orange, do the sleeve part and also the laddu. I forgot to color the hand and neck. So I'm just going to take my skin color and start with the neck. And then do my hand as well. Yes, so this is how it's going to look. So we've colored the face, the turban, the turban's border. His hair, his brows, his pupils, his moustache. Then we came to his collar. We did his kurta. We did 
the sleeve border, we did the laddu, and then we did the neck and the hand. Is everyone done clear? Yes? Great. Now it's time to outline it. So I'm just going to start outlining quickly. So starting with the ears, just the way I drew. Okay, I'm just going to outline the way I drew. So face. Everything so you all can just do it that way. Basically, outline everything, okay? The eyes, the nose. So, this is how much I've completed. So, I'm just going to stop over here so that you all are in par with me. Done, everybody? So the ear, outlining. So I did the face first, then the ear, the ears first, the face, the turban, then the head, his, the three lines, the brows, eyes, pupils, nose, moustache, smile. Then I went to the neck, the collar, and I started with the hand. Can I continue? Yes, let's go. So I'm just going to go ahead, complete his hand and the ladu and just the remaining part whatever is left his hand and the border of his okay so we've done this is everyone done till here yes everyone's done till here sure okay that is great so let's go ahead now what we need to do is we need to cut shubhasastri to make it a puppet so I'm going to cut it and this is how it's going to look. Okay, there's a lot of light right now. So you can't see the colors properly. But this is how it is going to look. Yes. Done everybody till here. Okay, next. All you need to do is flip it around. Apply some glue. Okay, and then stick your straw or your candy stick. And let's turn it. This is how Shibhisastri is going to look. Yes, done everybody. Okay, so I'm just going to play it again. All those who missed it, you all can cover up. But we'll go a little faster this time. So we start with the ears. And then we start drawing his face. You all don't have to be perfect. Okay, the face can be a little different, but as similar as possible. Every human looks different, so you all can draw differently. Okay, then we are going to draw the turban. Yes, I'm just going to draw like a little border to the turban. Yes, now I'm going to start with the brows, eyebrows, and followed by three lines on the forehead, eyes, the pupils that are going to be there inside yes then the nose his moustache and his beautiful smile okay let's come to his neck we're going to draw like a collar for the kurta that he's wearing then let's draw the kurta his one arm is going to hold his favorite sweet, that's Laddu. So let's do that. I'm going to draw one of his arms, which is holding a Laddu. Great. Done. Let's give a border to the color. Yes. Now let's start coloring oh i forgot the hair yes so hair of course let's start coloring let's start with the skin color so i'm just going to color his face quickly and his ears and then come to his turban quickly start coloring the turban so i colored the face and the ears and then start with the turban okay now i'm going to color the border of the turban so I always start coloring from up to down. I go from up to down. Now I'm going to color his hair. Okay, his brow. You don't have to be extremely neat because you're going to outline it anyways. But still be as neat as possible. His pupils. His moustache. Okay. Now, you know, um, okay, next, let's, I'll tell you later. Next is his collar. 
I'm coloring orange. So I just use orange and yellow for his dress. Okay, so the dress code is orange and yellow. Okay, now I'm going to come to his kurta. But before that, I forgot to draw the sleeve border. So I'm just going to do that quickly and continue with my kurta coloring. So I'm just going to quickly color it for you all. Okay, like right till the bottom, okay, you'll need to color it because you're going to keep one edge. Okay, next I'm going to color the sleeve border and the laddu, orange color. I forgot to color his neck and hand, so I'm going to color that right now. Okay. Once you're done till here, the next step would be to cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it. Oh, before that, we need to draw the border. Yes, I forgot. So why do we draw this border, you know, with a sketch pen or a marker? Because it, it just enhances the look of your character, you know, of your drawing. Not only your character, even when you're drawing or painting or any type of craft. Always give a border because that's going to enhance the look of your drawing. Yes, like if you look at Subhash Shastri before the outline with my OHP, he was just too bland. And look at him now. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. It just, you know, gave a little life to the diagram, to the character, in fact. Yes, he looks so much better. Yes, so always outline your characters. Once you're done with that, the next step would be to cut him. Okay. And once you have cut your character, you need to flip it around, apply some glue, yes, and then paste your straw or your candy stick. I'm using a candy stick, okay? And this is how he's going to look. Beautiful, right? Great, so we are done with today's class. I hope you'll enjoyed it, yes? So we are going to have uh, we're going to do another interesting story on Tanali Rama in the coming week so that's it for today let me tell you how you'll need to submit this particular class of course you need to show your Shubhasastri and just for a little twist what we are going to do is you need to hold Shubhasastri in one hand and your favorite sweet in the other hand for example mine is Cadbury so I'm going to hold Shubhasastri and Cadbury in the other hand if yours is dairy milk dairy milk in the other hand if you like any choco stick or if you like uh, anything so sweet for that matter even fruits are sweet if you like orange is your favorite one which is a little tangy or a little sour but sweet so you can put orange in one hand and shibasastri in the other yes so i need this i hope you'll make your submissions remember to get your certificate you'll need to attend all the classes and make your submissions so make sure you'll do that we're going to come up with another interesting story in the next class. So see you in the next class. Yes. Bye. Hi, everyone. We are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you've last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. 
click on share copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice just a tiny reminder your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode do not forget to tag us at yolo underscore app I'm eagerly looking forward